Hi, I'm Molly Ringwald. I am in the Criterion Closet. All right, let's see. Um, well, the first thing I think I'd like to get is the, uh, the Dietrich and von Sternberg. And I have seen some of these, but I have not seen all of them. So I think I'm gonna go for that. And um, this is a little bit overwhelming because it's like, there's so much, I, I really do feel like I'm in a candy store um, and I just want everything. But I'm gonna try to be a little bit selective. Okay, this one, A Face in the Crowd. Uh, this is a, a movie by Ilya Kazan. And I have always thought that this would make a really incredible remake, except for the fact that we're living it. Um, and Patricia Neal is incredible in that. And I, I believe it was Lee Remick's uh, first movie. So, uh, ah, this is a good one. Celine and Julie go boating. It has this very, um, you know, Alice with the Looking Glass feeling. Um, but it's also two women who are, uh, who are, friendly with each other, you know, as opposed to a lot of movies where the, there's so much friction between the women. These are like, this is a real, I think, women's women kind of movie. Um, so I'm going to put that in there because I like to watch it when I need a little boost. Um, to that point, I have to get um, Eric Romare's Tales of the Four Seasons. These are movies that I've seen a bunch of times. Uh, it really is like my comfort viewing. Um, whenever whenever I'm feeling a little bit down, um, and I feel like March is definitely one of those months where you think in New York, you're like, is this ever going to end? It's so cold, it's so dreary. I also love Romero because he is, for me, he's one of the most bookish filmmakers that there is. You know, there's tons of dialogue, um, the, 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 the camera angles are not complicated <laughs> at all, but but it really, it just evokes a feeling and it's a feeling that I, that I really like. So I'm gonna put that in there. Lubitsch musicals. Lubitsch combined his love for European operettas and his mastery of film to create these elegant body pre-code delights. Okay, yeah, fun. I loved watching pre-code like what they got away with. Um, I would really love to get some um, Godard films. I've seen, I mean, I, I did wear my uh, my Godard masculine feminine sweatshirt. So, um, so what do you have? Oh, here. I love Band of Outsiders. This is the first movie by Bruno Dumont um, called La Vie de Jésus. It's, I remember seeing this in the movie theater actually in France and being very uh, struck by it. He didn't really use any actors. I think these are all pretty much um, non-professional. Um, and then I met him later at the French Film Festival in Sarasota because I really wanted to work with him but he told me at the time that he could never actually see himself working with an actor. I'm glad that he's gotten over that. Um, <laughs> I still hope to be able to work with him one day, but I'm really, uh, I really want to see this again. So one of my favorite, favorite movies is The Knights of Kiberia, which is in this set, which is the essential Fellini set. Yeah, so this, if you're a Fellini fan, this is... This is definitely, I, I actually got to meet Fellini when I was 13 years old, when I did my first movie, um, which was Paul Mazursky's Tempest with John Cassavetes uh, and Jenna Rollins. And we filmed a month at Chinichita. And um, this guy came in and uh, bellissima, kissed me on the top of my head. And I was like, who's that? Um, it was Fellini. So really excited about watching all of those because I haven't seen all of those. Oh, the... John Cassavetes five films. I'd really love to take this because um, I love John Cassavetes. I mean, what he says is all of his movies are pretty much about love, how people love, why they love, 
you know, why <laughs> he's like, I just basically keep making the same movie again and again, because that's, that's what obsesses him. Uh, that's what obsessed him. And, uh, excited about that. And then also I see that, uh, love streams, which is not in the collection, but I'd like to have that as well. This was his, this was his last movie that he did before he died. So now I am going to close my eyes and just do a random pick. I'm going to try to do something that I have not, have not seen. Ooh. Umberto De, a film by Vittorio De Sica. I have not seen this one. It's a neo-realist masterpiece. All right, I think I'm done for today. Thank you.